Hey folks, welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Today we're gonna take a look at my 13 foot dinghy. Ordered me some uh, new seats for my dinghy and I mounted them to uh, the aluminum seats and it's just not working. If you lean back, as you can see, it just puts too much, too much pressure on the dinghy. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make some uh, boat paddle source to mount the seats on and just do away with these, with the uh, aluminum seats. I've already measured the interior of the boat. Now this boat is, is deflated some. So we're 32 and a half inches. And I think if I make it 32 and a half, when I inflate the boat fully, it should hold them in pretty tight. All right, here's some material that we're gonna be using. Pick this up at my local Lowe's store. Um, 3 h plywood, some inch and a quarter screws, indoor outdoor carpet adhesive, and some indoor outdoor carpet, and one two before. I plan on making these uh, pedestals, they'll be 32 and a half inches wide, 13 inches tall, and about 18 inches deep. Just want a little stability. And with that 18 inches, I can add rod holders and that sort of thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, cut a plywood. I'm gonna cut four pieces, 13 by 32, and we'll be right back. pieces cut 32 uh, 13 inches tall now we just need to get the uh this is going to be the front and the back so now we need the two side pieces and i noticed the leftovers that came from the end where i cut it is exactly 16 inches so these are already 16 wide by 13 so i'm just going to use those save up some lumber all right that's uh we're gonna rip this two by four down to an inch and a half so we can use it for some braces on the inside and we'll be right back. cut up let's start assembling it the first thing i'm going to do is take my inch and a halves and put one on each corner with the uh, inch and a quarter drywall screws Thank you. 
tidak rusak again making sure everything is flush Draw your screws in all the way, flush, so you park the lay on here smooth. Put this one a little bit more. All right. All right, we're going to get the other four pieces like that, and I'll be right back. Picked that's the last one. Got all four of these ready. Now we're going to install the sides on each side and I'll put them together. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right. Install the sides. Running everything nice and flush. Let's see if we can get a few screws started. So let's get a few started. Installing the sides, making sure that everything is still flush. and a quarter screws so I don't want anything to protrude from the back sides to take a chance on puncturing the, the dinghy. All right let's get the other side on. Again I'm going to get a couple screws started. here in Virginia today. It's like 95 degrees. I should be inside in the pool. That's the plus once again. Your screws go down flush. Makes the the uh, outdoor carpet on a lot easier. Right. Make sure you can still see that. Any 
kan ya di install the other side Sorry guys. This is just a lot easier to get on a concrete or even in your driveway, I guess. So we're gonna put this the other side on the same way. On the inside. Like so. Everything is not flush. This is just basically building a box. Pretty simple. comes out square. Hopefully you can see this. Alright. That takes care of that one. The other one uh, put together, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, we got both of uh, the pedestals put together. Now, what I need to do is cut a top for this or for both of them. I'm also, going to add some more braces in here, so I'm going to cut uh, one for each side and another inch and a half uh, rip two before on both sides to add some stability. So I'm going to get all that cut. I'm going to spare showing you me cutting the material this time. So I get it cut and I'll be right back. All right, folks, I got the bracings in the top. Didn't think I needed to show you how to do the braces. We've already done these. Anyway, I didn't see no need to go all the way to the ends, trying to make this as light as possible, but still uh, sturdy enough to hold two of 250, 200 pound person anyway I got the top cut all right folks I got the tops cut so we're just gonna screw those down and we'll be right back all right folks I finally got the pedestals uh, finished up I went ahead and then uh, sanded them down sanded all the corners down so there'll be no uh, nothing sharp to, to poke into uh, into the boat went ahead and uh, cut some arches in them so it would leave me a little more floor space for fishing rods or what have you and uh and to lighten them up they was a little heavy so that took a little weight off all right we got the uh indoor outdoor carpet glue and the carpet ready so we're gonna get that on there and we'll be right back righty got the carpet on actually turned out pretty nice And not very really heavy. All right, let's get the seat out and get it mounted. And then we're going to put it in the boat, take a look and see how it fits. All right, folks, 
we got the uh, seats mounted to the pedestals and the pedestals in the boat and they fit very well uh, the boat is not pumped up to the to the proper PSI yet so when I uh, pump up the boat it should hold the pedestals in uh, tightly and enough not to move and uh, definitely gonna be a lot more comfortable than the aluminum seats anyway folks I hope you enjoyed my video I hope it was uh, helpful to you uh, if you like my videos please like and don't forget to subscribe and share the video and until the next time folks have a great day Thank mm -hmm. you.